Janet's gone because this is the time that she hit that 67 grand. So she's going to go distribute her money and she gives me 500. And it says, keep him busy. Take care of him and Peggy. You know, be cool. <coughs> and then after she leaves, then this little incident happens with Richard shoving me like that and all that shit. And you know, it's not that I want to be a tough guy, but should I allow people just to push me around? You understand that, don't you? So anyway, it pissed me off bad. And I talked to Peggy later. She came over to my apartment and she said, I can't believe you did that. I said, well, you better never do it again. First and last time. And he'd been talking a little shit to me for a long time. So, <laughs> He don't know the good old boys from Canal. <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, after I went and got him that one, uh, I got the 200, I gave him half of it. That was about 10 o'clock. And, uh, he came back about 11.30 and wanted me to go back again, so I went out and did what I did. Okay, so, now, I got this little fucking dog, Chance, and you know what Jack Russell, <laughs> and I got this old lady living beside of me, and she's like a little kind of stooped over lady, but you better have respect for as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> you know, and she's living there, and uh, I'm trying to be quiet in this damn dog, you know, Richard comes over there. And uh, he done bark twice at Richard, you know, and I'm done been out, you know, and pretending the second time now. And, you know, I didn't want to be hard on Richard, but Richard was a bully, you know. His money thought that made him a bully, that it could buy him whatever he wanted to do to anybody. And I just think about all that. I'd go sit in the fucking ditch in the rain and starve before I let a motherfucker jerk me around like some kind of asshole. When I ain't done nothing wrong. Now, if I've done something wrong, I might submit. But, I might not. <laughs> but, anyway. So, about 2 o'clock in the morning, Richard comes back over there, and I got these jealousy windows on my door. You know how Florida is. And he comes up there. Bang, 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 bang. And the dog, of course, goes off and goes berserk. Two o'clock in the fucking morning, this old lady's beside of me. Ooh, and, and I'm feeling bad about that. You know, I mean, it's like total disrespect and fuck him. You know, I mean, I, it, 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 it just got, it just gripped me. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't answer the door and the dog barks and barks and barks. And the, so... He leaves after 10 minutes of fucking chaos. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. I'm that son of a bitch. I can't believe his arrogance. You know, and the way he acts with people. So, uh, about 3.30... He comes back and he does it again. No oh, shit. But when he did this time, when I heard him coming up, because the dog started growling, the dog <laughs> hated him and Janet. They would bite him over me. They wouldn't <laughs> let, he wouldn't let, the dog wouldn't let them close to me. He didn't like them. He wanted to stay with me. <laughs> it's the truth. And, uh, can you imagine two people having spirits like that? The dog can't even fucking stand them. And, uh, and Chance was, he was an asshole little motherfucker. He just caused me all kinds of trouble. But I loved him too, you know. <laughs> but anyway. Oh. Um, I hear him coming up. The dog growling when he shut his door. Which was down here, around here, and right about here in the middle of the horseshoe. Dog growling, baby, hell. I know. 
You know, the dog will warn you way before you know. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, uh-oh, here he comes again. And I'm mad. I'm thinking, <laughs> you son of a bitch. You gonna come over here and fuck with this old lady. You know, you don't give a damn about nobody but yourself and your fucking Complete disregard. Shit. Yeah. So I go up to the door. I unlock it. When the dog started growling to begin with, I ran up to the door, I unlocked it, and I twisted the knob to where it was ready to be open, right? He comes up, bang, 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 bang. I know you in there, you son of a bitch. And when he did, I shoved the door open, I hit him, and I knocked him way out in the middle of the fucking uh, ter terrarium they had in the middle of the whole place, right? And I went out there. He gets up, and I went off on him like a fucking helicopter. I fucked him up. I mean, I did. I just, I banged the shit out of him. I, I knocked him down uh, one time, and I kicked him in the face twice before he could get up. He's like two black eyes. All the, and I just went berserk. Because, you know, it's like I've been listening to this shit for a year. A fucking year. What kind of control is that? That's no control. <laughs> but, I guess that's some bereavement in me. I can't help it. I can now. I have much more control. But, anyway. Like, I broke his nose, black both his eyes. Swelled his head up. And he not comes good, back. He way. comes back about 45 minutes later and knocks on the door like at 4 o'clock. He goes, Need a tickle? <laughs> Very quietly. He's not banging like he did before. Bob, hey, guess what? I taught the motherfuckers to manners. And, and, and he goes, Bob, Bob, please, please come in. And, and the dog, you know, he's already like, I'm sorry, Bob, I'm sorry. I went over there and I opened the door. He goes, Bob, will you please come and drink a beer with me? God. You talk about feeling like a no good let the, you know, and he had come and do him what I did, but he never fucked with me no more after that. I did not. You know, uh, and I always have that. My grandmother used to say, from the mill hill around here, but she came from the cornfields to the mill hill. Yeah. Uh, she used to say, yeah, Bob, you got that old Indian in you, that temper. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You got to stand up. And you know what? I'm not sure that that's not true. What you think? Uh, you know, I taught both my boys to stand up and fight. And uh, I learned that late in life. I was taught the opposite. Yeah. But well, I've learned it now. Have you noticed? <laughs> yeah. But, uh... <laughs> You know, anything that's done in the right perspective is beautiful. You know, and I think, you know, uh, people look at me and they say, you hypocritical bastard, you're not an anger management teacher, which I am certified in Florida to do. If I have my diploma, I can show you. University of Miami. But, uh, it's taught to us in there, the course that I took, that anger is a natural gift that's given to you because it lets a lot of people around you. Now, it says, be angry, but don't be bad. Okay? And, uh... It can be a powerful motivator. And it can help change things. Mm -hmm. You see somebody doing somebody else wrong, that makes you angry. What about that? Mm -hmm. So, hmm. Mm. My compliments. Food between Thank you friends. so much. It's always good. Oh no, your food is just always different though. You you do things like uh, natural good diet food. I mean, I don't mean necessarily diet food, but I mean good diet. Good eating a good diet food. And uh, I appreciate that. That's